What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to iterate through a string in Python. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give you two methods that you can use to iterate through a string. And the current string that we're gonna use is this variable that I have set as curse string. Programming is awesome, so let's, let's get coding. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start into method number one. All right, so the first method that you can use to iterate through a string in Python is gonna be basically running through your string using a loop with indexes. Um, and so I'm gonna say loop with indexes. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, so for i in range to length of curse string. And what we're essentially doing is we, a string, if you don't know, can kind of be treated as a list in a way, um, because every, just like a list where it has the brackets, every you know position in that list is an index. Well, the same is true with every character within the string. So like p is an index zero, r is an index one. And so if I wanted to loop through, iterate through this list, I could do it using the indexes by just saying, get it the length of the list and then giving my index go all the way through. So if I run this, we can say um, print the curse string of i, and as I do this, what this will have, what this will do is, you know, it'll print each letter uh, line by line essentially. So if I run this, you'll see that I bring this all the way up here. It says programming space is awesome! Exclamation point! Let's get coding. So right there, it has all of this, all of our um, characters that we had, and that is method number one: how you can iterate through that list. And this is very useful for things like if you need to, you know, go character by character and check, um, get it, it check and get the value of say, or, or use that character or do something with that character, as well as use the index at which it's at. And so now I'm gonna show you method number two, which is basically very similar, but um, I think is probably more useful and probably the, the way that I would go about using um, if I were going to iterate through a string in Python. Okay, so the second method is essentially the same as the first because I'm going to still use a list. However, um, I'm gonna do it slightly different because I'm gonna use a loop, but um, without indis, uh, indices or indexes. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say for char in cur string. Now, this is using the for in method where essentially, unlike this um, for i in range, this is gonna go by the indexes and we have to then access the string at that index. What this is gonna do is it's going to automatically print out, like if I were to go print char, this should give us I should actually do this, print um, line. This is a special thing I always use if you haven't been around um, to help me basically, a cheat code to expand this out to uh, 80 characters. So it basically repeats this um, dash 80 times and this gives us a nice line in between our, our functions so that we can see the difference between method number one and method number two um, because essentially these should print the exact same. And if I run this, pull this all the way up. So we see method number one, where it's programming is awesome, let's get coding, and then our line, and then programming is awesome, let's get coding. So the reason I like method number two better is because oftentimes in Python, a lot of times you'll see people doing the for in, like they'll use for in, because essentially this just grabs the next character out of that index. So it's going to basically, as it's looping through, it's gonna grab the P, do what you want with it, and then go to the next one. Now the down downside to this is though is unlike this method number one you have the ability to not only grab the character that is at that index but then you can use i to get the index so for example i could say um i could just do this so f string and go index and i'll say i and then i'll say equals and then i'll just do this now if i rerun this oops i actually have to close that there we go all right now if i rerun this Pull this all the way up. So you'll see method number two, just like we had it, but then here's the difference. So this goes through and gives us our index of zero is equal to P, which if you look right here, that's P and then R, O, G. So like, just like that, it's giving us, at this one time, we can get our index at the same time that we're getting our um, our characters. Now you could do something similar. There's a built-in function called enumerate that you could wrap around this and that'll return a tuple of the index and then the chart character. This will do the same thing, um, but oftentimes, when you're looping through stuff, I just go with this method just because it's very simple. If I need the index, I will use that enumerate function or I will go into this, um, do the loop with indexing. But oftentimes I think the more naive approach or the beginner's approach is using the indexes because you learn about how like uh, lists or strings um, are very structurally kind of similar in the sense that you can iterate through them and in how you can iterate through them, I should say. And so oftentimes you'll see people use like, they go by index first. 
first, you know, and they learn how to do that. And then they get more into like the, let's go in the four, you know, use the four in method and whatnot. But right there, there's two different methods that you can use to iterate through a string in Python. I hope this provided value. If it did, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions or you want to see videos on any other different um, topics, um, or specific topics that maybe help may help you, um, please leave them in the comments below, and then I'll just, uh, make sure to try and answer them or create another or create a video about those questions. So until next time, keep on programming.